Uh, just a fast video before I jump into bed tonight. It is December the 6th, 2019, Friday. Okay, uh, yesterday, just yesterday, Angela Merkel dedicated 60 million euros to Auschwitz Foundation. Basically to keep the Auschwitz going. Oh, what a beautiful news. Except that the one deserved for that news, I am right here, the one who is talking to you right now. Angela Merkel have explained to me if I would turn in direction I did, this is exactly the news that would follow. The one who was excited about that news, that means that knew about it all, coordinated with Angela Merkel was Duda, Andrzej Duda. That is a Polish president along with his political party, Law and Justice Party, known as uh, the party of Kaczynski and Morawiecki. Um, if what well, this is this is really 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 twisted 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 stuff now i saw moraviecki inside of the auschwitz camp with angela merkel who believe it or not i don't know if you can believe this or not she was the first time in life in auschwitz officially okay this is to me personally this is weird as it gets and if you look at the photos, uh, she's just not really happy about it. And believe me, does not regret what happened in Auschwitz. But she regrets something else. I have spoken to you about Yeshchi Yedin Ras. I video recorded the video about Yeshchi Yedin Ras. Just one more time. Just one more time is title of the video. And it's where I explain what Kaczynski, Morawiecki, Duda anticipated uh, will do. And that's why I said earlier, coordinated. Well acquainted with. Speculated. Yes, Duda, Morawiecki, Kaczynski, Merkel, and Putin, Buckingham Palace, and Donald Trump, and some others, well coordinated. Macron, I don't want to forget this fascist from France, I don't want to forget him not even for a second. Just one more time, so Duda Moraviecki interpreted to me the news that you read on the media I already was told about that news on the media in 2015, 100% already will come. Folks, you're not seeing the news. You're not seeing the news because, you know, something would happen or something like that. You're just seeing the news because it's all coordinated with major coming events. And so that they anticipated, as Duda told me personally, Madame K. Eltra, if you, when you see, when you see this news, when you see this news, you will already have, you will already know what will happen with you. Now, if you did side with the Nazis, you already know you're dead. Now, so this you're talking about year 2015, maybe even 2017. Now, this is coming to the end of this MK Ultra. Okay, but what happened in Grotnikich? What happened in Grotnikich? What, what, what was this all about? Chinese people, Indian people, how? If I will not turn into a neo Nazism, if I will not support the neo Nazism, that I will be taken to India, to Pakistan. 
British Buckingham Palace have hated and hates Chinese because of their opium trade. They are afraid of them. They are paranoid by them. Just me that I will end up in China marrying Chinese girl and this and that. And through so many European countries that I was, you want to say this betrayed? I don't feel I was betrayed. I feel it was the same scum that was defeated 70 years ago. The one that claimed about 70 million lives that I dealt with. Now, they mainly are located across the border. But they did disseminate it throughout Eastern Europe as well. So you cannot say that it's just like this or just like that. Uh, I should not generalize. So I don't feel, I still feel being part of the Europe, I feel being European, despite this uh, fascism, Nazism, unbelievable hatred that I as an American was brainwashing the United States of America against discrimination, against the racism, against discrimination, sexual orientation, age discrimination, racial, ethnical, religious discrimination, brought here to Poland for 17 years, for 70 years to be discriminated, discriminated against and my color of the skin and my religion. You desecrated my religion. Today, I don't even wear the chain here, the cross. I don't, you don't see one because it was taken from me the second time. And for the third time, I refused to buy another one and put one on. And it goes on and on and on by some kind of criminal over there, by some kind of a thug from United States of America. By the way, George W. Bush, you know why George W. Bush? You know who elected George W. Bush? I elected George W. Bush. This is how big this case is. You know how I got on the picture, on this whole picture? I got through Epstein. And if you look a little bit better, Epstein and George W. Bush, and you're going to see some very close facial similarities. You could say that Epstein was my rape buddy. This would be a funny thing. It would not be a horror. And so the George Bush got elected because of the similar facial traits. Putin, who personally knew Epstein, was to be effed with by Bush because of those kind of traits and so on. There is a whole a lot you don't know about the United States of America, about the politic, what went on, what goes on, and so on. I was quiet about this, raped in the United States of America like an animal on this island, brought over there by the Clintons. By the Clintons to the Epstein Island, to Bahamas. I would disappear from the bed and the next thing you see like this or up in, up wherever he is in New York and in his apartment and so on. And you have no idea what kind of case this is, what the multitude of this case. Do you know why Epstein had to be killed? It wasn't only because of Donald Trump, because he could witness against the Donald Trump in respect to this case, confirm one, eventually. I'm sure he would. He was not a, such a bad person, indeed. He was a predator. He was a rapist, obviously. He was a lot. But still, there was something humane in him, I believe. And I never had any kind of homosexual tendencies or anything like this. Never in my lifetime, but it was in him more humane than in George W. Bush or Trump or any other of those. 
he still wanted to do something good for me and this is how they got me on the picture and this is where you have all this pedophile ring getting to know me basically and this pedophile ring like a waiter from Epstein described he was this guy he was shaking in anger central intelligence FBI all knew about this they investigated the whole thing I don't know how this thing is gonna come out but it's as ugly as it looks Epstein had to die because of George W Bush too and because of Clinton Epstein was left out there on his own like it or not this is how big this case is here it's a giant case So now, I would know what is going to happen with me. Chechnya was taken to Chechnya, was taken to Tajikistan, was taken to Iran, was taken to North Korea, and I had a lunatic, a maniac by the name Donald Trump threatening me threaten me if I will not turn to a neo-Nazism, support neo-Nazism, this is where I would end. Either this or Israel. Because I would be already so much violated against my religion, my race, my everything I am, that simply, and if you look at political asylum options that I exercised, Norway, Sweden, Germany, Austria, Canada, United States is where I ran from, and Slovenia, Hungary, Ukraine, Belarus, Poland. If you just count this stuff, if you just count where I was, how I was trying to get by, you probably would get an impression that the individual that was so many times and you have no idea what they were doing to me. I have not spoken anything yet. I did not, I did not tell you 5% of what they have done to me under MK Ultra, what this was. So many times betrayed if you want to call this betrayal like i said this this for me these are beasts these are not human beings awb south african organization was the first one that made contact with me in miami overseas in 95 when nk ultra started at the end of the 95 they were the first one they cried about the genocide they cried about this they cried about that and through me they got a hold of Eastern Europe. That's where Putin was not even a president. He worked in the curtain. And other politicians did. And this is how they interject them inside. This is where you get Elon Musk later on when he came to the US. They throw him inside. Joe Biden did. Joe Biden's son is married to AWB. A lady from South Africa. This is a Democrat you're talking about. Today, but not today. When I was in the US, when I was brought to the Europe, they already were all over the Eastern Europe. Even in Russia, everywhere they were. It was, it was like a virus. I was treated like a dummy, like a completely inhumane over there in the US. And they were already all over the Eastern Europe using me basically to create division between the Slavic people, teaching me on how to insult, teaching me on the facial differences, giving me entire facial background engineering on how to profile people physically, facially. And well, the rest was easy. They, they make people angry and then it comes out quite naturally to insult people. So. 
Uh, that's why I said that these these are not. I don't I don't consider them as a people. These are not as an animal. It's not as a people. These, these are just simply beasts. These are not even people, human beings, or anything like that. You have no idea what kind of multitude of case this is. How big this thing is. When they find out about this stuff in Poland, that I was actually raped by Epstein and stuff like that, Ukrainians and Poles, uh, when they find the whole tale about me, and they do at the company where I worked, they know everything about me, they got the entire profile, because these people are from Ukraine, they were government related people. They didn't work for a little money here in Poland for no reason. This was a company through which a lot of stuff went through, uh, associated with a Dutch, Dutch company, basically German, Dutch, and you have all kinds of uh, spheres going through there. Their stomachs were thrown, they were turning around, they, they, those Chechen people, that they, they could not understand, they thought that they, I'm disgusting, you're disgusting. You know, but this is okay, I mean, they see in the same way women that are raped too. So for me personally, this is not such a touchy issue. This is okay with me. <clears throat> if they fail to understand the basic logic of how things function, this isn't, you know, this is my fault. There's no reason for me to, you know, for anyone to be ashamed to get in this kind of situation. Disgusted. I am disgusted because of my parents. I am disgusted because of my country that, that, I, that I was exposed to this type of environment and they just... They didn't see anything beyond them. They, didn't, they, they were not concerned with anything. It's time to let this uglier than ugly truth out. And so the MK Ultra, since the MK Ultra was not enough, we had to go real time in 2018 and then to, through 2019. And you were able to see something what went on through Grotniki and here I have too many videos to even post audios in respect to what went on right here in in gear shows and stuff what they organized what kind of stuff this was with idea to curse poland for me to curse poland for me to turn against poland curse polish people foremost everything that was done against me for everything was a guilty a psychologist i have mentioned already they have used probably, I have no idea, but must have been like a hundred, I would say, imitators from her. And she was guilty for absolutely everything. And the issues they have involved in it, I'm going to speak in one of the videos. Uh, but this was just completely outrageous, completely insane stuff. Totally, totally nuts, totally crazy stuff. And it would always brainwash you to see things violently, to get the outbursts, to very 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 difficult procedure when you consider the stuff that that was actually what what they what how far they have gone to get the words out of and commitment for me to do something that would benefit Kaczynski Morawiecki Duda I don't think you get uh, more hardcore fascist Nazis than Duda Morawiecki Kaczynski, I think these are like the worst people in the world, I think. I think that this is like a cream de la cream of the evil. I think everything in the world that's wrong with the world is because of these people. They brainwashed on against Muslim people. It was discrimination against the Muslims. And the biggest discrimination of them all was against the Jews. Anti-Semitism, real anti-Semitism exists. The brainwash against the Jews was like, this was so extensive, so hateful. <coughs> Please excuse me. <coughs> it was so extensive, so hateful that I would say 
<coughs> I possibly could not measure the hatred, the degree of hatred of that, of Kaczynski Duda, what, what, what this was, what, and so I kind of am not surprised about Netanyahu right now when I think about that he came with some statements that, all right, they are a little bit, a little bit they are eccentric, but dealing with the people like this uh, probably will also make you say stuff like that because it's just, it exists. It's a life. Racism. A brainwash against the black people was done by the people who claim to be victims of discrimination from me. By the ladies that you would not even imagine would come up with a garbage like this they have gone through such a thorough brainwash to get you right here in poland into hatred that you have no idea now unless some investigators are going to get involved in it i am not going to be going in any details in respect of that because you know, this is just it's completely outrageous what went on. Disgusting. Beyond disgusting. So if you see this news, when you see this news, when you see this news, you will know whether you are dead or alive. And they cry to me about how difficult it is to maintain Auschwitz, how expensive it is, and this and that. Okay, that only confirms what I already have stated to you. Well, today on the blog I've stated to you that fascism, Nazism is finished, it's over. Because the news like this, Merkel told me alone, when you see this news, it's over. We're not going to go further because you don't, you don't want this and that. Now, the Poles had a different story. They video recorded themselves. You know, on one, st one side of the story, they tell you the stuff like this. On the other side of the story, to give somebody else, some investigator, so he can lie, so he can misrepresent the news. The news given out was well, exactly that kind of stuff. If you will, if you will, you will not succeed with your case. Your case is nothing. You are nothing. Uh, this is never going to come true, but at least we hope we're going to get uh, the money and stuff like this for the Auschwitz and stuff like this. So they were trying to present themselves as a humanitarian even. So you have a, a double, it could be like this and it could be like that scenario playing all along, all along, all along, all along. And psychology is guilty for everything. How the psychologist was guilty for everything, I'm going to explain in the video coming. Then she was guilty, I mean, she was absolutely guilty for absolutely everything. I was, she, the one, I believe that she saved my life. She saved my life because um, she somehow managed to uh, survive literally survive in environments, in, 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 in international environments that involved university students because she is a psychologist in university. And so they could not destroy her so easily. But from what I understand, it was very bad. It was very, very bad and very close. She somehow managed to get the whole thing going, but other than that, you had the lady that I have spoken about, librarian. <laughs> um, the lady was not only with Elon Musk, she was with Borut Pahar, she was with several other politicians, she was drugged up, naked, drugged up, with quite several men. Elon Musk smoking weed, walking around naked with some other man inside and so on. 
why did you bring him here and this and that now it's this now it's that you remember when he released the news about the weed and stuff like that he knew this is all this stuff is going to be coming out okay it's more about Elon Musk it's way more than that uh, then she would go actually to a mayor here in the city and try to stop the truth demanded from people involved that case to be stopped <coughs> to block the case for the case not to be revealed demanded from the mayor and so on she suffered some kind of psychological trauma because of doing nothing else but you know stuff i have spoken about smoking and stuff like that um unbelievable stuff i have seen i can tell you about stuff that not that story that i tell you about today so that's why i'm telling you this that would be throwing your stomach around but the stuff that if i tell you now that stuff would be really really thrown around the stuff that i have seen what what went on here that would be really the stuff that would turn your stomach around and so almost two years now year and a half of this and Angela Merkel with Morawiecki inside the Auschwitz paying respect to whom are they paying respect to maybe to the Jewish witch which was beaten up by Polish children. This was the news in 2018. Then the news disappeared from the internet. They, they posted it on the internet. I'm sure you still remember that. And then the news was gone. It disappeared. They deleted it. And you, after microwaving you, whatever they were using this for this directed energy weapons, uh, the job and so you should feel like a bitten like a Jewish witch so now we have a gentleman over there that all this stuff is like clout that it's like never happened he's got it looks like that that Duda and Kaczynski and Morawiecki have like amnesia or something like that did they leave in some kind of fantasy or something like this they do not remember what they they were doing yesterday and to me and to the people here and to other nations and so on what the hell they were disseminating the hatred and so on i guess the time came to turn around the story and now nobody knows nobody sees anything we don't know nothing we don't know nothing now look even angela merkel that said that it's over it's gonna stop it's not gonna go believe me it's still going on somewhere they still have growing in the background they just don't want this out of the public eye because it's pumped up the people are now watchful but the shit goes on in the background i tell you that but publicly the news now is going to tone down that means that donald trump is going to be off the picture and stuff like that so this is what I had to deal, I should say, not to deal to you, but share with you today on December the 6th, 2019. Um, I couldn't help myself but to talk about this stuff because now the whole thing is just, you know, is just uh, turning around the table. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see completely different news. You'll see Donald Trump flying away and stuff like this and no they did not made it one more time to turn me into a neo-nazi they however germany moraviecki duda kaczynski they will be they will be persecuted to the highest degree as long as i'm alive and it goes the same to the bush to the clinton to donald trump i don't give a about the entire u.s establishment i don't care about much about it all and I'm going to tell you about a WB. I'm going to tell you about this.
poor farmers, whites, from white about the white genocide in South Africa. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the video like this. These people should be welcome here under the precondition only if they would make a clear declaration, a statement, and I'm referring to the video statement, giving us a true and nothing else but true only, meaning that they would condemn their own neo-Nazi fascist leadership, a failed apartheid leadership that is still arranging killings of selected whites so they can continue to write the news about this so-called white genocide. And it's so-called white. So they want to get us Eastern Europeans on board of that sunken ship from 70 years ago. If they cannot provide this type of statement, if they cannot condemn this fascism, therefore they are unwilling to equal themselves with the people to whom they have caused tremendous harm. You know what apartheid did, you know what they did over there in South Africa. Um, and really nothing good, you know, nothing good other than these inventions on AIDS virus and stuff like this, they didn't really bring anything good with them, really. There was just a lot of bones that was left behind. Nothing good, really. If they can provide this kind of statements, if they cannot condemn their own people or dividing them, basically, from the normal world, and normal world, what should be normal world from them, of course, cannot be normal world if there is a hatred like this and the hatred goes on. You're never going to get that other side into state of the normal thinking if you will continue to do stuff like this. Then, unfortunately, these people should, should be thrown out of here. They should not be even allowed to come here. They should be thrown. They should be repatriated from here. It doesn't matter how much money they have they bring here. They're going to do the same to us they have done to the black people in South Africa. In fact, they already have. I'm from Slovenia. I can confirm this kind of things went on over there. Polish people know this kind of things Germans have done right here in Poland to them and so on. There is no place for the people like this. There should be no place for the people like this. They come here. There's just a few millions of them, but they want to come here so they can disseminate fascism, hatred, Nazism discrimination, division. Elon Musk created his own personal kill list already of the people who he would want to eliminate right here in Poland and is across the Eastern Europe and stuff like that. They already have stuff like this. When the right time would come. And this, these are complete lunatics. They're dangerous. They're radicals. And our world should do its best to keep them away from here. You cannot allow people like this to come here. Normal people, however, it doesn't matter. It can be uh, white Afrikaners. You see, they don't even admit the word Afrikaner. They say the Afrikaner is already a mix. It's not, it's not purely white. And when you're talking about purely white, they don't even admit British as white and stuff like that. It's a deeply, deeply divisive, racist society that Eastern Europe have to simply reject. The normal people, however, if there's a normal person that would like to come here and live here in harmony with the people and is willing to condemn and point the finger at those that are creating this kind of stuff, those that are doing their best to keep the poverty of that continent, um, he's welcome, he should be welcome, he should be a normal person. And he goes the same for everybody else, Germans and British and Americans and everybody else. These are the people that eventually we fought for.
and they fought for us in the Second World War. And therefore, we must stick to the normal people, uh, keep relationships with the normal people. We have to distance ourselves at all costs from extremists, from the radicals. You know, of course, what I have stated to you is nothing else than a radic uh, Marxism. Excuse me. This is frequent excuse they use. It's called Marxism. This is Marxism. Whatever Marxism is. Marxism, I don't know, in this case, is even if you ruin somebody 25 years of life, like they ruined me, through whom they have expanded themselves here throughout entire Eastern Europe, have made themselves business markets and so on. It's, it's not accepting their ideology, the fascism, racism, hatred, suicide in this case. It's called a Marxism. It's simple. You always come at one point, it's enough, it's enough, it's a Marxism. So that's all there is for this video. Um, thanks for watching this one and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.